rain and drifting snow making travel really difficult. Fox Weathers Robert Ray is in Minneapolis battling the brutal conditions. And Robert, are, are people out and about today? How are the crews doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I got to tell you, uh, people were out this morning for sure. But look at this behind me. This is a, a, a major street here in downtown Minneapolis. So it's tough going. I mean, although look at this people driving uh, actually a lot faster than you would think. Uh, I guess they're used to it here in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, uh, St. Paul being the capital. But, you know, we've seen these uh, gusts of wind. We had some pretty uh, heavy snow uh, in the past few hours. It's dissipated a little bit and we have light uh, flurries right now, uh, but yet you can't really see or make out a lot of the buildings in downtown Minneapolis as you know, we are under a winter weather warning until 6 p.m. Central tonight, uh, and this snow will continue. Uh, though the plows, I, I am hoping that they're going to be out soon. I've seen plows uh, throughout the day, and I've seen bobcats sort of uh, take snow off of the sidewalks. Um, but it's interesting. I wonder if just the past few hours the plows sort of stopped maneuvering because of uh, that heavy snow and visibility. Uh, so we, we shall see. Uh, but, you know, they're not uh, they're not strangers to uh, snow here uh, up in uh, Minnesota for sure. Uh, they got 11 inches back in December. That's the highest uh, count uh, for this year. And they know uh, that in the next couple months, even though we're approaching spring, they could see it all over again. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes here in the in the upper Midwest. Uh, but uh, Minnesota Department of Transportation urging folks um, to stay off the roads. And if they have to be on the roads, uh, make sure you're lights on lights are on they're saying and stay away from those snow plows uh, when they are out so we certainly don't want another situation like what we saw in North Dakota uh, on I-94 yesterday my goodness that video is just uh, it's really tough to watch of the jaws of life uh, taking someone out and just uh, surrounded in blizzard conditions uh, but here comes the wind again you get those gusts of wind uh, every once in a while and this is going to continue uh, through the now the night with uh, with snow uh, but you know upwards to six seven inches that's the expectation right now we got at least four i'd say right now back to you guys yeah robert the radar shows it's beginning to lighten up do you did you notice the intensity go down over the last couple of hours from heavy snow yeah, oh, for sure. I mean, I, I was down by the Mississippi River not far from here, uh, which snakes its way through this area, and it was blowing sideways. Um, I, we, I don't know if we have video of that or perhaps you guys have been showing that, but yeah, it was moving in very, very hard. And at one point, uh, pretty much whiteout conditions. You know, I looked up to try and see the skyline of Minneapolis, and uh, that was a no-go uh, for at least uh, an hour and a half, potentially even two hours. Uh, but uh, I, I think at, the, at this point, Point. We've seen the worst of it thus far today. Uh, of course, um, you know, we also had reports of thunder snow uh, south of Minneapolis and then north of here, like in Duluth, which is, um, you know, right up there near the, uh, the Wisconsin uh, border and Lake Superior and everything. Um, that area just uh, getting a lot more snow uh, than Minneapolis. So uh, I, I think folks here at the end of the day the tomorrow, even though the temperatures are going to be like three or four degrees, it's highs tomorrow i think they're going to say well we got lucky we got six seven inches yeah i was just That's gonna say it that goes here in minnesota i was just gonna say that robert yes the snow now you're dealing with the bitter cold please stay warm that jacket looks pretty warm so i think you're you're well taken care of <laughs> yes right. i love this Absol it's a brand new coat from our wardrobe uh, folks uh so uh thank you gwen and uh, her team uh there uh at 12 11. they do a wonderful job thank you bridget over to you I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.